Hey, how you doing? Doris here. So as a follow up after my last video, I thought I would do some quick benchmark tests with my PC. The new CPU in this PC was installed a month ago and almost every other component are the same as it was when I built this bad boy for the first time. So currently it's running an i5 10600K processor, an Asus TUF with Z490 chips at motherboard. 16GB of RAM, an NVMe M.2 SSD as the main boot drive and some additional hard drives and SSDs for storage, an Asus Republic of Gamers GTX 1070 and also a 650 watt Corsair power supply. Now you might have noticed that I didn't mention my CPU cooler and the reason for that is because it's a no-name cooler. I mean, I'm sure it has got a name, but I'm also sure that nobody heard about it. Now, don't get me wrong, this is a decent cooler, it has got three pipes and it has got a reasonably large surface to cool my CPU in time. And it served me well for the last five years. Fingers crossed it will serve me for another five. Anyway, the reason I am mentioning this is because from this video you might expect some overclocked stats. Unfortunately, I cannot risk this. Until I get myself a reliable CPU cooler, I'm afraid I can't overclock my system. CPUs are not cheap. So all the benchmark results you see today in this video are from the stock settings. But enough talk from me, on to the benchmarks.
get to make it with time for sunshine. When it hits you, yes, 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 you shine. When it hits you, yes, 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 y